Hey guys, it's Dave from Oasis Gangster. So a little while back, I showed you how to control your computer from your Android phone. Well, now let's reverse that. I want to show you how to control your Android phone from your computer. It's simple and easy to do. So a few prerequisites and what you need for this project is first, a recent Android phone. Next, you'll need a VNC server installed on your computer. It's simple and easy to do, and I'll show you how to download it and hook it up, and it's free. <laughs> and lastly, you'll need an app available free within the Android market called Droid VNC. Once you have all that, you're ready to get started, okay? <laughs> Let's get this started. Okay, first install a VNC server on your computer. I use type VNC, but of course you use whatever VNC is convenient with you. Okay, next you want to look at an Android market and search for an application called Droid VNC Server. And you can see it right here. It will say beta and it's free. So once you find it, you can install it. I already have it installed, so I'm going to open it. Okay, so once it's open, just hit Start Server. It's going to start. And it may ask you for root access, so make sure your phone is rooted so you can give it access. Then once it's started, take note of this IP address uh, down below right here. Either one. Um, but for your VNC server, take note of the first one right here because that's the one you're going to need. Type in the IP address you're given by Droid VNC into your VNC viewer. Followed by a colon, type in the port number you're given as well. Then hit connect. Okay, so if all goes well, you should see your phone on your computer screen. And I'm just showing you my phone here to show you that it really works. So one common, some common controls I should mention is to right click is the home screen. So I'm going to right click and it takes me to the home screen. Or actually, sorry, it takes me back <laughs> to the market. So right click maybe to go back. There we go. So I'm just going to go back. And I believe the escape is also the back, so I'm really not sure which one's the home button. But hitting the right click or the back button or the escape key on your computer will uh, push you back in a uh, phone. So yeah, so I go back. So let's get a few seconds for it to load. So this isn't as speedy quick as I mean you may think it is. Um, it is a little slow. I mean it's not very slow, which I'm kind of surprised. So. It's, I guess you can say, on par, average. Nothing to be really amazed by. So, okay, so I'm going to open up the internet. Let's open up the internet. And I see open up the internet on my phone, too. And obviously, what I do on my phone will come up on the internet, too. So, take me to YouTube. What's cool is I can use my keyboard on my computer and type. So, let's say I'm going to go to google.com. I'm just type in on my keyboard. I'm gonna show you it comes up on my phone too. I don't know if you see that. Type in Google.com and hitting enter, and it takes me to Google.com. So the amazing thing is I can use my PC's keyboard to type on a phone. So that's really good when it comes to messaging and just being on the internet and everything. Um. And very convenient too. Uh, video playback is slow, obviously, as suspected. So is game playback um, when viewing it on your PC. But then that functions well, and everything else works. Um, and yeah, if I want to go back, hit the right mouse button, and it takes me back. So this has been how to control your Android phone from your PC. Hope you enjoyed it, and it's really simple. And go ahead, check it out, and have fun with it. So thanks for watching and tune in for our galvanizing video. <laughs>